now, Becky here with the Glitter Ranch. Um, just working on my regular day-to-day -day stuff. Thought I'd do um, a little tutorial. I'm going to put some acrylics on these. So I have done just kind of a typical swirl with this. Um, I've got, uh, of course, Glitter Ranch glitters. I've, the purple, the dark purple on here is Kissy. This white uh, has a lot of holographic. It. It's uh, Angel Dust. The green is a uh, hollow metallic uh, money. The black is pirate. Over here, I kind of have a hodgepodge of purples. I've got Kissy, I've got Riata, I've got Sterling Silver, I've got um, Wisteria. I've got multiple purples over here. Also with kind of this main Y area is Angel Dust as well, the, the fine of that. So I have put the glitter on, epoxy, um, and now I'm gonna go in with uh, acrylics. So, got my little cups here, got my epoxy. I use um, like the ketchup mustard dispensers from the dollar store for, uh, sorry I'm out of frame here. Let's see if I can move my table a little bit. I'm caught on a cord or a rock. Okay, all right. Um, so that's what I use for my dispensers and just little medicine cups. Um, the only thing I've found the problem with this, I hold the top on with my finger because I have, uh, with A being thicker than B, I have squeezed too hard on this bottle and the lids come off and you know, it's went everywhere. So I do, um, try to be very particular about holding that lid on. They do make those, um, I think they're called like a FIFA bottle. And when I um, had tried KS Resin, I had those for that. Or CC DIY, I think is what it was. But like I told y'all before, I had some reaction to that. So I palmed that off on a friend. So uh, the bottles went with it. But the, they were good bottles. Um, I heard goods and bads about that after this set. You know, of course, your gloves always have it on it so you know epoxy gets everywhere so honestly after these bottles i've got so much glitter and stuff that is just stuck on the outside uh what i just refilled them and i don't know why i did it i should have just tossed those because i've got another set waiting that i'm going to refill the next time so got my epoxy um didn't measure it i just kind of did about three-fourths of the little medicine cup I've got a 30 ounce skinny straight over here and then a 30 ounce modern curve, but I've got a couple of different acrylics that I'm wanting to use on them. So um, if I need to, that's about how much I did. So again, I didn't measure it. Um, you can, I just, I wing it. If I need more, I get more. That's kind of how I do. Okay, and because I'm going to be mixing acrylics in this, I'm not real worried about bubbles. Otherwise, I would typically, um, you know, use my mixer so that way I wouldn't be stirring uh, bubbles into it. But because I'm going to add some other stuff, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to set these away from me because they tend to give me a headache. Okay, you just want to make sure you get your sides. I love these little paddles. We have these on the website. It's a little stir stick, but um, the bottom of it is flat, which is great for getting the edges. I try to not stir crazy so I don't get any more bubbles in there than, you know, absolutely has to get in there. Um, but I really do try and keep my stick like on the bottom, on the sides. Um, to not get it any crazier than I have to in there. Um, again, by putting the acrylics in, it's less likely to be an issue, but you know, still. Now, if I were doing epoxy method, I certainly would not worry about it, and I would just stir like mad just to get it stirred up. And if y'all haven't stirred epoxy, you'll see right now it's kind of cloudy, um, and from here I can see 
that it's not mixed. It kind of has like a different little bit of a cloudy um, consistency. So it clears up once uh, the A and B have, um, you know, married together. It'll look clearer. Sorry if y'all hear my daughter with the radio flaring. Okay, so approximate stir time, three minutes, roughly. You know, like I said, you'll be able to see when it is mixed. Um, it will stop looking, you know, as milky. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, now the blue down here is taped just because I tape off the bottom. It's just a personal preference for me. Certainly not a have to, need to, anything. I'm putting acrylics I want a decent coat just so they'll move a little bit um, they just need a little bit more foundation to be able to uh, we'll heat them up get a little movement out of them definitely I suggest and I the, the makers of epoxy suggest you wear um, a mask I am in my garage with the garage door open um, but I would highly suggest wearing a mask anytime you mess with epoxy. And gloves. Always gloves. Okay, I can feel that I've got a good coat all over, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Put a little bit on this. I'm going to call that one good too. So again, you're just wanting to get a nice base, so that way once you um, I'll mix up the acrylics in my epoxy, I'll separate those out into smaller containers, smaller little medicine dishes, cups, and then uh, put the acrylics in there. And that way when, when we put them on here, it's got a little you know depth in the epoxy, so that way it can, it can move. And I've got tons on my gloves, so I'm going to wipe that off in there. All right, paper towel again. And if you, um, you can use a paper towel or a wipey, either one if you get right to your gloves before the epoxy starts to cure, you can typically get that off pretty easy. I'm wearing my husband's gloves because I am out of my size. And you know, they're like a million dollars nowadays when you go to buy them. So he had some somewhere in his. Okay, so the colors. The acrylics that I've got, y'all can get those at Walmart, 50 cents, or the dollar store, or Joann's, or Hobby Lobby, or Michael's, any of that. Any of that. And on your acrylics, you don't want to get too much because it tends to make your uh, epoxy really gummy. Kind of a pain to work with when it's too gummy. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got there. A few different colors. Um, because this cup is so bright. I've got uh, a couple of like real bright, shiny metallics to put on them. Really pretty metallic purple. Ooh, that's real pretty. I like it. It's really close to the same. 
Let me drip this one and see where we're at with it. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty one. Now this is Dragonfly. Oh, yeah, Dragon, Dragonfly Glaze. Um, now I can plan out my stuff and lay my stuff out that I want to uh, use on a cup, but I never seem to take off whatever lids I've got on them. That's real pretty. I like that. All right, and then I'm gonna throw some white. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a snow cap. Mix it up. Alcohol ink. See if I can get the color I want out of that. Okay, on my epoxy, typically I start with a metal stir stick just so I don't get any little wood flakes from my popsicle sticks. And then also, um, I don't know, I've heard that, um, that also, um, that, you know, the moisture that the wood would hold would get in there. I don't know. I have just went to a metal stir stick on my regular epoxy application. When I'm doing acrylics on it, then, you know, I don't mind using the popsicle stick. Pretty purple, very pretty purple. And I'm anxious to see how this dragon glaze. Honestly, it almost looks like a mica in there. I like it. Very pretty. It's really pretty paint. I might actually mix some more of that up. I like it so well. Because I didn't. I didn't mix a whole lot. I wasn't sure how I was going to like that. But I do really like it. Looks like it's got a whole lot of shimmer in it. Alright, my last one, I'm going back in with my dragon stick because I, I just put acrylic, or I'm sorry, snow cap additive um, alcohol ink mixative. I'm saying additive, I mean mixative. Bottom. On my skinnies and straights, I typically do not um, do the bottoms taped off. Lots of people do. Again, that's just a personal preference or if your customer's asking for that. From my heat gun. Sorry, y'all, I did not plug this in before I started.
Okay, I did bring over some micas because my intention was to use some of those. But really, honestly, I um, I like how that uh, that diamond, what is that diamond glaze? It's got a sparkly label even on it. I don't know if you can kind of see the color. It looks real white and pearly, and it's got a lot of shimmer in it. Lot of really pretty shimmer very very pretty I will be buying more of that I think I did buy it in one other shade okay I'm feeling like I want to add um, some black I'm actually going to use my um, I've got distressed paint um, I'm gonna just throw a little bit of my epoxy back in my purple container here. You get this where you get like the alcohol inks, which of course we sell the inks on the site now, but um, uh, you don't have this distressed paint, but it really, you can use that or alcohol ink, regular alcohol ink or um, acrylics, other one. And I've been happy with all of them. I'm just going to kind of pull a little bit of that ink through. Super pretty. I really like that diamond glaze. That's definitely by far my favorite part so far. I'm going to heat these up a little more. You don't want to burn your epoxy. You definitely can with um, a heat gun. Do it. You want to back off. That way, you're not going to um, burn anything. You can just. some more, a little more white. Again, you can use acrylics, you can do inks, you can do mixatives. Um, just depend on the look that you are going for. Ooh. You don't want to get too much of the acrylic ink because it really makes it gummy. Sorry, 
And if you've got too thick of a line, you can always throw, you know, throw the white over the black and then it will kind of just dispense. Long, you can just drag a popsicle stick right through it. And if I heat it up again, then it will make it move again. And once you like where your um, colors are going, you can always um, flip your turner the other way so that way they don't keep going that direction and it will help even them out. Definitely. Of everything that I've used, for sure, on these, I really, really like that dragonfly glaze. It's very pretty. Like I said, I typically, I had um, some mica that I was going to add in, because I really like how the micas look as well. But that diamond glaze, it's really pretty. It's almost like it's got um, our, our glitter that we call similar. It's almost got like that in it, or like the snow cap additive. It's got a really pretty shimmer that's really got a lot going on in these cups. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn these the other way. Like I said, when you flip them the other way, then you're going to keep it from just continuing to um, spin around and, and keep mixing. Um, uh, it's going to, you know, kind of even it out and kind of keep them where they are. So that's really it. That's really all I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just gonna let these spin. I've got timers on my turners for four hours, and then um, 
honestly after this without putting any uh, glitter or anything in it they'll be ready for uh, decals so let me know if you have any questions again you can use any kind of acrylics you can use micas you can use inks um, dyes those kind of things right into your epoxy um, when you heat it up you, know, you put down a layer of epoxy on your cup to give it some movement and then you um, add those things to your colorants and then when you heat them up, that's what's given all of these, uh, all of this movement. Let me see if I can actually move my table a little closer to the camera. But uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. You can send me um, a Facebook message. You can send me a message on um, YouTube or whatever. Uh, if there's anything, any questions I can answer for you, please let me know. Thank y'all.